Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about uh, another type of generator. It's called Switch Reluctance Generator or SRG. So this is the setup in my lab regarding Switch Reluctance Generator. On your left side, this is a standard three-phase induction motor. It serves as a prime mover for the SRG and here we can see some uh, torque sensor which is uh, inserted between the two shafts it measures the torque of the SRG and on the right side is the switch reluctance generator this is the overview of the switch reluctance generator setup on the right side is a standard induction motor on the left side is a switch reluctance generator. From the outside, they look similar, but inside the machine, the winding, the rotor is totally different between these two machines. For switch reluctance generator, its stator winding is concentrated, not like distributed winding in the induction motor. And also, the rotor of SRG is just a stack of soft iron like this one you can see from this picture this is a picture of the rotor of SRG you can see it's just a stack of soft iron there is no magnet no windings on the rotor so we have just introduced you guys the switch reluctance generator setup it is located inside a machine room. The machine room has very strong glasses and soundproof. And we prefer to operate SRG on this table bench. This is the general overview for the control of SRG. Here we have the computer, which is used to program the control algorithm for SRG and uh, here this is the DSpace micro lab box controller it's like the brain of the system it controls everything over here we have uh, black boxes these are the sensor box it used it is used to measure the voltage and the current information of SRG and feed such information to the controller and this device is, is called a symmetrical half bridge. As I told you before, the construction of SRG is totally different from that of a standard induction motor or generator. Therefore, the power electronics devices that is used to control the SRG, the topology is also different from that of a standard three-phase inverter. It is called uh, a symmetrical half bridge. You guys can look on Google to see how it looks like. And here is the inverter. Why? Because as I said, SRG will generate DC power to the DC link of the system. And we want to feed such power back to the grid. In order to do so, we need an inverter. So this is the inverter from Danfoss. And uh, this blue ones are the inductors so we have a LCL filter which is inserted between the inverter and the grid the purpose of this LCL filter is to attenuate the switching harmonics from this inverter so that we can have a sinusoidal AC current that is being generated to the grid This is MATLAB Smulink. So this is actually the code that is going to be used to generate power from SRGs. You can see it's basically composed of two parts. The code on your left side is to use to control the inverter, which is used to stabilize this link for SRG. And the code on the right side is used to control the SRG so that we can generate some power from SRG.
is very complicated because SRG, as I said, is a highly nonlinear machine. It's not like a standard induction motor or PMSM or PMSG. It's highly nonlinear. After we have programmed everything in Simulink, we can generate C code and download the C code to this space controller, which is located here. In order to monitor and control this DC space controller, we need a software which is called Control Desk. So this is the human machine interface I designed for SRG setup, which is running in DC space control desk software. The first thing I'm going to do is to stabilize DC link voltage for SRG using the inverter. So when I click this button, the DC link voltage will follow my command. So I give me a command. I'm giving you a command of 325. If I increase my command, the actual DC link voltage will follow my reference. So let's go back to 325. Now I'm going to run the SRG, but before we do that, we need to find the initial position of the SRG rotor. That is very important. It's like a initialization process. How do we do that? We give a DC current flowing to the winding of SRG phase A. And I push this button. You can hear the, the winding current is flowing and uh, by clicking this button I'll be generating an electrical magnetic field which is going to attract the rotor of SRG to align with that field that is called uh, initialization so after I align the rotor of SRG with my field I'm going to reset my encoder position so right now my encoder thinks the position is 334, but actually it's not, because right now it is, should be 0. So I'm going to press this button to initialize my rotor position in my controller. So now I can start running SRG. So my SRG is running at 1000 RPM. And there is no power generation because I have not activated the control for SRG yet. Look what's going to happen if I click this button. Enable SRG. Well, we hear some noise from SRG. And from the scope, we can see the three phase current. This is the actual current that is being generated in the SRG. This is phase A, B, C. The noise is very big because SRG, as I said, is a, a non-linear machine. It's not a linear machine. And uh, the current is also non-linear. If I increase my reference value for my current, the noise gets bigger and bigger, and the current gets bigger. I want to show you guys the effect of back EMF compensation. So if I stop my scope and you look at the detail, my reference for the current is 10 ampere, which should be here. But the actual current is overshoot my reference a lot. Why? Because as I said, the back EMF of SRG is highly nonlinear. It's difficult for controller to take such nonlinear effect into consideration. So there is a lot of overshoot, which is not good. It means we don't have very good control of the current. Now let's enable the function of back EMF compensation. See what's going to happen. If 
we take a detailed look. Previously, there's a lot of overshoot. Now, my reference is 10 ampere. The actual current is also a little bit overshoot, but much better than the previous one. Now let's disable back EMF compensation again to see what's going to happen. You see the overshoot. Now we don't have overshoot anymore. Let's do it again. Without e back EMF compensation. With back EMF compensation. Right now I'm r running the SRG as variable speed, so I want to increase the speed of SRG. So I can drag this command. The frequency of the SRG is increased, so you can see a higher pitch. And also the power of SRG has increased. We are now generating about 1.5 kilowatts from the SRG. Why does SRG generate such a terrible noise? Because this is a torque from SRG. You can see it's oscillating a lot. Such oscillating torque is causing the noise from SRG. Let's go inside the machine room to take a look. There is a lot of noise from SRG. It's vibrating. <laughs> 